This physical model of a groundwater system includes layers of gravel, silt, and sand representing the subsurface. Water flows into the tank from reservoirs on the left and right that are maintained at a constant water level. An outflow tube about three quarters of the distance from the left side of the tank represents a location where groundwater discharges to a stream. Wells penetrate the porous materials at various locations and discrete depths. Some of the groundwater flow is revealed by adding red dye to a well. The moving shadows are our reflections as we film. Flow from the left carries the dye slightly upward to the right. The upward component is caused by diverging flow exiting the gravel lens to the left. The flow path reaches a high point then turns downward as flow converges on the gravel lens to the right. Groundwater flow is slow, so this video compresses 30 minutes of time into one minute of video. When the dye reaches the gravel lens, it moves more rapidly because the groundwater velocity in the lens is higher. Next, green dye is added to a deeper well below the silt layer. The green dye moves upward and to the right because flow is converging on the gravel lens that connects to the stream. As time continues and no more dye is added to the wells, the concentration of dye in the water decreases as revealed by the fading colors. Although it took only a moment to introduce dye to the flow system, Days of flushing with fresh water will be required before all of the dye has been removed.